Good morning, everyone. Today we're coming at you from St. Augustine, and we're gonna do one of my favorite things to do in a new town whenever I come here for the first time. That is check out their zoo. It's the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park, built all the way back in 1893. I go by the legend. Joining me in this is my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. Now let's go check out the alligator farm. So parked out front of the alligator farm is this really cool uh, kind of vintage fire truck. Yeah. Neat. So before you go in, you're greeted with this giant uh, alligator head, still in the festive holiday season, and he's famous. Yeah. He was from the 2003 movie Peter Pan, and he was TikTok. Still in really good shape. For what I imagine was probably like a uh, like a puppet or anything in the front. I think it was. Did you ever see that? Getting things started here, admission to the alligator farm is gonna run you about $28 for an adult. There is a triple A discount. <laughs> One of the first animals you see when you come in is this beautiful toucan. So here's one of the main attractions here, and that is the giant American alligator exhibit. Uh, pretty nice enclosure for these guys. Yeah. Lot, uh, lots of room on the water, lots of room on land. Uh, a little waterfall. Yeah. Now, something we're not gonna see, we're here early in the day. This, this zoo opens at nine o'clock, so we came right at opening at noon, and I think three, three. they do alligator feedings, and I'm sure they use that platform there where the waterfall is, which is, uh, if you haven't seen something like that, it's really cool, but. Yes. Uh, the enclosure for these guys is really nice. I want to know how big they are because sometimes under the water they're very deceiving. Mm -hmm. uh, because some of these guys look really massive. Yeah. Mm. You get some cool shots of them too. Hey, look at that guy. He's too. So I had to turn the camera back on because this guy is under the water, but you could see him breathing. Bubbles. And making bubbles. As Back over by the alligators right now, translates to which um, they're doing a crocodile. training exercise, got around 40 which brought all the alligators out of the water. Pounds. So if you took one of our larger alligators yeah. here, what about four so of them? So you can see how to big these guys are. A whole are. bunch of weight on the side. Yeah. That's what you were the looking at when you saw Dinosuchus. But not there. only was Dinosuchus massive, they ate some pretty big things. And that's open them up for me. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Now we do this. This big guy here, this is a saltwater crocodile. Uh, very, very big, named Maximo. Now he's also a Godzilla. Yes, <laughs> this is a very big animal. Also really cool, this exhibit has a very, very large underwater viewing area for you to see uh, Maximo. That is, that is a very, very large animal. Here's the above ground viewing for Maximo. Ah, 15 feet. I wonder how much he weighs. I'm sure it was on one of those sides. You said he was born in 1971. Yeah, so he'll turn 50 years old, much like uh, Walt Disney World later this year. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. And uh, they live about 60 to 80 years old. Really impressive. Ah, uh, and there's another one in here as well. As you can see over there. Assuming that one's real. I was gonna say, he didn't look real for me. Might be fake, we don't know. Maximo, the giant one, definitely real. Nope, oh, that, nope, yep, real. That, that moved. Look at that. I believe that is Sydney, his, uh, his partner, according yeah, to the no, side. Yeah, that's Sydney. Well, Sydney moved quite a bit. One more shot of uh, Maximo here, who has gotten out of the water. Looks like he's found himself a good napping spot. All, all 15 feet of him. This is the Oasis of the Nile exhibit. Of course, another, probably the most famous crocodiles out there, the Nile crocodiles. I believe they're the largest crocodile species. You can see them posing. They do uh, have some theming elements here as well. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this guy who's just posing non-mouth open pose over there. Just enjoying some sun. 
And right by the Nile crocodiles, they do have a really cool snake exhibit for the, uh, the West African Gaboon Viper, which I'll zoom in here. These guys are notable because you can see their nose has kind of the spikes on it. And uh, he gets to live his life here in an Indiana Jones movie. One more quick shot of that Nile crocodile. And they do have an ancient Egypt history kind of exhibit here as well, just like a couple of glass enclosures, including a replica of the Book of the Dead. From like one of the best movies ever. <laughs> oh, my, one of my favorite rides at Universal Orlando as well, uh, that being uh, the mummy. Hey Benji, you're on the wrong side of the river. Molly really likes those two movies. It definitely looks like the one in the film too. It does. In what has to be the, the biggest exhibit here, these are for the American crocodiles. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's a really cool boardwalk in the swamp that kind of goes on forever. Yeah, it leads to a swamp uh, observation dock. Man. So and nice. they have, a, and it makes sense why uh, this is the biggest exhibit in here, as look at all those crocodiles. This reminds me a lot of Gatorland. Yes, it does, absolutely. I, they have the same kind of, uh, I believe they have the same kind of exhibit. So the crocodile exhibit really goes on for just about forever. There has to be at least a hundred. Yeah, there's gotta be a hundred in here. Uh, but my favorite might be this guy here. Posing, looking right at us. You got the best spot. On that log. Now you could feed the alligators like some pellets for about, oh, uh, about 25 cents or so. Interesting, I did not think the, and these are crocodiles, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I did not know that the crocodiles would eat like kind of the fish food. No. One of the newer animals here at the alligator farm, it's actually not an alligator at all. It's a Hoffman's two-toed sloth. Which is one of your favorites. I love sloths. I love, love, love sloths. And he's awake. Yes. He sleeps like 20 hours a day normally. Well, his, his pal up there is, definitely, is asleep. definitely asleep. He's doing the normal uh, 20 hours a day sloth thing. Mm -hmm. But this but, guy. Yeah, he's climbing upside down. They're so cool. They are very cool. Sharing the enclosure with the sloth is a couple of sun bittens, which are, um, I don't know if that's a bird I've ever seen before. They're, they're also a South American species. No, oh yeah, I've, I've never seen them. Apparently they're getting endangered. Oh. And, and apparently native people of Brazil will keep tame ones in their houses because they eat spiders. I <laughs> hate spiders, let's get a sun bitten. <laughs> this is a Birds of Africa exhibit. You can see a big, I think it's a Malibu stork and a whole bunch of vultures, and it is feeding time. So they are uh, very excited. Man, look at that stork. The giant, very pretty. Mm -hmm. He's very, very pterodactyl-esque in the beak. Not something you get to see every day. This is a very large vulture nest. No idea if there's babies in there or not. But that's a, a very impressive nest that they made for themselves. Also here in the Birds of Africa exhibit, I know I was focused on that stork, which uh, before the comment section corrects me, it's a marabou, not a malibu. There's also a West African crown crane. This is really cool. We are up close and personal with a Galapagos tortoise. Something is making tons of noise. I believe those are probably lemurs. And now my friend the tortoise is wandering away. Really cool to be so close. And uh, they do have a couple of them. And they're very pretty. They're so cool. Everyone loves uh, lemurs, and they've got three different types of lemurs, very sleepy lemurs today. You can see the black and white lemurs there. Um, they do also have ring-tailed and red-ruffed. Yeah, the ring-tailed just went inside. Yeah, 
Um, nice lemur enclosure too. Very big, lots of stuff for them to play on. I, I'm guessing this is pretty new. Everything, it looks uh, pretty recent. Yes. This colorful giant bird, that's a southern cassowary. Uh, native to, I believe it's Australia. We assume he's the inspiration for uh, the creature from Up, Kevin, as he's now coming right over to us. These he looks guys, like Kevin. he does. Hey, hi, Kevin. It looks like he's having himself some snacks. <laughs> so hanging out right beneath us is an albino alligator. Can't get a great view of them, but if you do go to the other side over here. You can see a couple of much smaller albino alligators that you can see much better. Uh, these guys are very young too, probably a couple years old. Let's see if I can get a look at that other one. Oh yeah, he's in a cool spot. I had no idea they could sunburn. It makes sense though, look how pale they are. Yeah. Turn the camera back on real quick because this guy is uh, moving around. And he stopped. This pond here is home to the alligator hatchlings and their pal, a turtle. But look at how many baby alligators they have. All of them. Yeah. It's interesting how most of them, they're all kind of facing one direction. I think there's two different types here. I do have a nice photo up over here where you could uh, sit on this plastic alligator. Here's the zoo's Komodo dragon. Uh, he's got an indoor enclosure and an outdoor enclosure. And he's just uh, hanging out, posing for us under his heat lamp. Yeah, yeah I would probably be under heat lamp today. Yeah. Leaping over here is uh, a very, very large king cobra. Whoa! Guys, look at this gecko. I was thinking on his toe a few seconds ago. Yeah. Molly, what kind of a gecko is this? Uh, let's get sloth. He's big, he's stuck. He's about probably a foot long. And uh, the new Caldalian giant gecko. A way to conserve body heat throughout the night. I would say this is an animal I don't think I've seen in a zoo before. No, but he's really cool. Yeah. Look at that little tongue. Come right for us here. We got a couple of pythons. They land and look up there. We got a big snake. Oh my. Whoa. He was like almost struck. Oh my. Yep, two pythons. You know, pretty cool looking. You've got a couple of tiny little guys over here. These are West African crocodiles, very, very babies, as uh, they grow to be eight to ten feet. And well, right now, they're that's interesting. Up in, until 2011, so very recently, they thought they were the same species as a Nile crocodile. Huh. Yeah. Look at his little baby teeth. The next exhibit is the Land of the Crocodiles. A really cool billboard here where they show off all the species of crocodiles in the world and where they are native to. Uh, I believe most of these are located here at the alligator farm. But, you know, from, from African to Asia, Australia. You think Australia has way more? Yeah. Because that's what I think of. I think Florida and I think Australia. Yes. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that the alligator farm is part of the AZA, which is something I always try and look for when you're going to a zoo or an aquarium. So good for them. All the way on the other side of the enclosure there, that is an Orinoco crocodile. They're rare, right? Or I, th I believe so. I think they're very endangered. They do have a second Orinoco over here. This one is completely out of the water. So you get a really good look at them. Giant. Another one in the back of their enclosure. This is a Morlets crocodile. So one cool feature as an upcharge of the zoo here, they have a ropes course and a zip line. 
and it's awesome because you go right over the enclosures. Not a molly. This here is a broad snouted caiman who is out of the water and right in front of us. It definitely looks smaller. Yeah, they, these are a smaller type Apparently, of alligator. Apparently, uh, it only reaches up to six and a half feet. Huh? Cool. No way. One more shot of him there as he's moving and opening his jaw. Look at that. Look at those teeth. He's just posing away over there. So this one here is a very rare crocodile. This is a Cuban crocodile. They're only found in uh, like one swamp in Cuba, and then a, a, a little bit of the Pines Island right nearby Cuba. They're a critically endangered species. Apparently they can jump, high walk, lunge, and even gallop. If, if, that would be something else. Yeah. To watch them gallop. I'm gonna have to uh, Google that. <laughs> So Molly mentioned the galloping earlier, and if you look at the size of their back legs, they definitely seem like much larger back legs than most uh, crocodiles and alligators have. Hanging out on the side of the enclosure there, that's a yukare caiman. Right up close to us, this is a black caiman. And I would say these, these guys are not an animal I'm particularly a big fan of, as they eat capybaras in South America. Oh, that's sad. Capybaras are so cool. I mean, they all gotta eat. Yeah. The next section of crocodiles takes us to Africa. Posing for us there, that is a West African crocodile. A lot of times you see crocodiles with their mouth open like that. It helps cool them down. I learned that through Thanks to my Disney World annual pass and <laughs> going on the Kilimanjaro safari ride way too many times. Here you can see the African slender snouted crocodile. This enclosure is home to the mugger crocodile, who's native to All India. Right. This really cool bird here, that's a Victoria Crown Pigeon. And uh, the headdress is really kind of neat. We've got a couple of them in here, along with some other birds. Oh, hang on. But uh, those, are, those are cool. Until the camera wants to focus on the great. Way to go, camera. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, nope, just great. I heard another hello, too. Right on. This guy here with a cool snout, that is a Johnston's crocodile native to Australia. Here's uh, some Siamese crocodiles, and they are baby Siamese crocodiles. As these guys are probably two to three feet long, but they grow to be about 13 feet. So they've got Great. three of them in here, four of them in here, at least I see, I mean, I see four. And uh, cool to see him out of the water. So that was just a portion of the Siamese crocodile have enclosure. Look at all the little guys, and I'm assuming that's probably mom. There's uh, 28 babies. 28 babies. Uh, and some really little ones, too. Like, look at the size of that one. It's tiny. But yeah, to have that many born on a critically endangered species, like... That's amazing. Great Good work for them. for them, yeah, here at the, the alligator farm. Completely out of the water here is another Johnston's crocodile. You get a really good look at him. Hanging out here, that is an Indian gharial. Uh, I would say it's definitely a younger one as well. That's it's a really, really awesome looking animal. They do have a very large exhibit for the adult uh, Indian gharials as well. You get a view of that one there. 
As a guy that's lucky enough to travel to a lot of zoos, this is definitely the largest exhibit I think I've ever seen uh, for this species. There's also a turtle in here, but I have mm -hmm. yet to see it. And uh, it's cool too, because you can see like its tail over there. This is a New Guinea crocodile. The, this zoo does have an amazing collection. I think I believe they have every species of crocodile. Yeah. For almost every one. We got a mover over here. This is a Philippine crocodile. It looks like he's trying to get out of his lake. And he is getting out of his lake. The Look at those animal. teeth. Apparently, very few reports of attacks on human because it's so shy. All right, well, there we go. This is the Philippine crocodile, a friendlier species. <laughs> With those nice, friendly teeth there. <laughs> it's a red tailed green rat snake. Really cool color on them. Yeah, there's two in there. Mm -hmm. And this is a, kind of an exhibit about ancient alligators. So you got uh, replicas of skulls, as well as the uh, taxidermy body of Gomek, who I believe is one of the biggest alligators ever. Uh, looks, I, I think it was like 15 feet tall or 15 feet long. Yeah, I mean it's it's really wild looking. Uh, this is a, an animal that was a star attraction here for years, obviously passed away, but they did preserve him. A couple things, Gomek was an Indo-Pacific crocodile, and he was 17 feet and nine and a half inches. This enclosure is home to a bunch of turtles. Uh, there's supposed to be a dwarf caiman in here, but we have been looking for a couple minutes and can't find it. So we walk by on the way out, and there is indeed a dwarf came in there. He's so cool. Yeah, they're uh, one of the smallest species of alligator or crocodile. <laughs> Hi, buddy. A couple of macaws over here. You got a Ryan's macaw in this tree. And then you've got another macaw over here. They are so pretty. That is a pretty bird. So they do a couple shows here at the alligator farm. We're about to watch one all about native Florida animals. Now the reason they get their name Florida box turtle is because whenever they are friends, they actually shut themselves inside their shells like a box. <laughs> so they are actually Florida king snake. That's why he's called Elvis the king. Of course. Um, so Florida Hey Molly, what time is it? Beer 30. And not only beer 30, it is giant beer 30. Uh, we're drinking 32 ounces of craft beer in a souvenir cup that's made just for the uh, the zoo here. And you get like a couple different choices on what kind of souvenir cup you want. There's a color, different colors and different then animals different on animals it. on it. And uh, it's a souvenir cup, so it's about nine bucks the first time. And then if you want to refill it, it's going to be seven. So that's pretty cool. And if you wanted to fill this with soda, it's for your ear fills. Uh, very reminiscent for me, uh, going back in college days, the neon cactus on Thursday nights at Purdue University had cups just like this. And even better, as a beer guy, they have a really nice beer selection. So they've got a specialty beer made for them from the ancient city brewing company, the Oasis of the Nile. They got Yingling for Kenny, and then a couple more local beers as well. So, uh, very nice, very nice. There we go. Finishing our beer at what time? Yeah, it is at 9.36 in the morning. <laughs> Vacation. Pretty cool uh, showing off the history of the farm through like souvenirs and brochures. As this did open in 1893. So you've got many, many a generation of souvenirs and stuff. A very cute exhibit here for kids where they can go and uh, sift through the sand and, and dig for uh, dinosaur bone kind of things and fossils. We have a small exhibit here about Florida's native reptiles, which is going to be a lot of snakes. Uh, 
cotton mouse, hog nose, king snake. And like uh, like most uh, attractions, it kind of it ends in the gift shop. I love that for something that's so old, they have like retro style shirts. And uh, like uh, nice bags as well. But yeah, I, I like the, the retro feel of the merchandise. And a sloth. And a sloth. I mean, all, all stuff's pretty good stuff. There you go. Lots of the shot glasses and all the alligator stuff you could really want to buy. All right, so I enjoyed the retro t-shirts. Uh, Molly, your favorite was this? Uh, I, yes, it caught my attention. The uh, St. Augustine Alligator Park lounge pants with gators all over it. All right, and that'll do it for our time here at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. I was really impressed. Yeah, it was way bigger than I thought. We spent, what? Two and a half hours. Two and a half, two and a half hours, hours two hours, 45 minutes. Um, really impressive. And we only saw one, sh two shows. Yeah, um, really, really impressive. I went in thinking like, oh man, $28. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. I think I definitely got my money's worth. Yeah. Uh, the collection of animals they had was amazing. And everything was in really, really good shape. So all the exhibits were top notch. Everything was clean. Everything was well kept. Uh, the signage was really good. They have like- and Maximo. <laughs> Maximo was awesome. And then uh, getting to see like, 28 baby uh, of the Siamese crocodiles, which yeah. is a critically endangered species. That was really cool as well. Uh, I didn't hurt that they, they gave, uh, they sold big refillable beer mugs. That's uh, always a plus for me. All right, guys, that'll do it for our time here at the Alligator Farm. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get back to you.